we begin in Sudan, where heavy fighting between the army and rival paramilitaries is continuing. Thousands of people are fleeing the Sudanese capital Khartoum during the last fight. On the 15th of April 2023, rising tensions between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces led to armed confrontation in the capital Khartoum and that has since spread throughout Sudan states. The conflict is a power struggle between both forces over the vision and the future of the security sector, but more broadly about who owns power in Sudan. 12 months on since the fighting broke out, there is no end in that fight and it's not clear how both sides, whether they're willing to come to the table. The conflict has derailed negotiations to hand over political power to the country's civilian rulers. It has also led to devastating consequences, humanitarian catastrophe, displacement. We have seen the return of violence in Darfur and we have seen the impact not only in Sudan but in the regional countries countries that are themselves vulnerable from years of conflict and years from instability. There have been several humanitarian ceasefire efforts, but none of them have been able to stop the fighting. Today, what we need, what Sudan needs, what the people of Sudan need, who sacrificed their lives in 2019 and before, is a very concerted mediation efforts by all the key actors, all the key mediators that are engaged in Sudan whether it's Saudi Arabia or the United States, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Kenya, the regional countries and the regional bodies that are engaged, the United Nations and the European Union. Time is running out for Sudan. Alongside the mediation efforts, we need a process that continues to, to encourage and support Sudan's dynamic civil society, work with the political opposition to come up with a very concerted vision for what Sudan wants and needs to shape its future. One year on, there is no sign of a viable outcome for Sudan. There's an urgent need for diplomacy. There's an urgent need for humanitarian space and access to get vital aid to Sudanese that are suffering as a result of the conflict. One year on, there needs to be clear support for Sudan's various activists who are trying to chart a way forward for the country. Sudan's collapse could reverberate for decades and would have great and devastating impact on the neighbouring countries and the Sahel. The window to avoid that outcome is closing. <laughs>